Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, President of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to speed up Backdrop Designer and Texture Anarchy. And mostly we're going to be focused on Backdrop Designer because that's really where the speed issues manifest. And so let's begin. So as some of you have noticed, Backdrop Designer, and we'll create a small window here of 500 by, or a small document of 500 by 500. Backdrop Designer is a little bit slow to render. If we select Backdrop Designer here on our 500 pixel by 500 pixel image, and we're going to select something to render out like this. At 500 pixels by 500 pixels, it's really not too bad, especially on some of the backdrops. Like, for example, this one rendered out fairly fast. However, if we increase the document size to, say, 2,000 by 2,000, or even 4,000 by 4,000, backdrop starts getting really, really slow. However, there are some ways to work around this. The first way to get around it is to render out much smaller than you need, and then scale it up in Photoshop. And so you can see that, I'm going to jump over to our pre-rendered document, where you can see that we've done this. And so this is the image that I just rendered out. This is the version that was scaled up by a factor of 400%. The thing about Backdrop is that many of the backgrounds that it creates are very abstract. They're sort of soft to begin with. And so that allows you to scale them up by 200% or even 400% or even a little bit larger and not really have it affect what the image looks like. So here's the original version scaled up 400%. And then here's the version that was rendered out at 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. 2000 pixels, 500 scaled up. 2000, 500. There's not a whole lot of difference. Again, because they're fairly soft and abstract, you just don't notice when the backgrounds have been scaled up. And especially since we're using them as backgrounds, you really don't want them to be razor sharp in focus anyways. So if you start seeing some pixels, you can even apply like a little bit of a Gaussian blur to it. Because again, they're in the background. You're going to put a subject in front of them. You don't want the background to detract. You want to have that soft focus back there. So scaling up by 200, 400%, even 800% really is not going to cause a loss in quality. And you can see that with this one, which has a little bit more detail in it. It's not quite as abstract, but again, it really is. So this is the 500 pixel version that was scaled up by 400%. And then this was the version that was rendered out at 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. The 500 pixel version that was scaled, the 2000 pixel version. 500, 2000. Again, not a whole lot of difference. So if you don't want to wait around for Backdrop Designer to render, you know, a 3000 pixel by 2000 pixel image, just render out to a 750 pixel by 500 pixel image, and then increase that by 400%. And again, that'll work really well for these types of abstract backgrounds. Now, what if you're in texture anarchy that's not quite as abstract? So, for example, we have this sort of plaster wall type of texture that we have going on. This one we originally rendered out at 500 pixels by 500 pixels and scaled it up to 2000 by 2000. And you can start to see some pixelization in the lines, the, the cracks of the plaster. And so what does this look like if we render this out by 2000 by 2000? Looks a lot different. This is much higher quality. So in this case, so say you're rendering out textures for use in a 3D program, the technique of scaling up by 400% might not necessarily work. It's always going to work with the more abstract type of textures. But if you get into something like this that has a lot of detail, where you really want it to be razor sharp, 
it's not such a good solution. But if we're using this as a background, again, we really don't care so much about it being razor sharp in focus. And we can come up here to our filter menu, apply a blur to it, and then all that pixelization goes away. And you know, if we're dropping a subject in front of this as a, you know, using this wall as a out of focus background, then the scaling up trick does work. But if we're using it as say a 3D texture, you probably want to do you probably want to render out at the full size that you need it at. Because you can see you have a lot more fine details that are showing up when you render it out at a higher resolution. Again, especially with the abstract backgrounds, you can render out at a smaller size and scale them up by 200 or 400% and still have a very usable background. So, thank you for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, there's lots more where that came from on digitalanarchy.com. There's more tutorials, free demo filters, and a lot of other resources. Of course, if you have any questions about Backdrop Designer or any of our products, you can email sales at digitalanarchy.com. And that's it for this tutorial. So thanks again, and see you in the next tutorial.